So I did this DNA test with Circle DNA. I've been seeing it all over the internet and I just decided one month ago, why not? And I got my results. Huh? What am I, am I supposed to go and see a doctor now? Sleep quality. <laughs> and I guess this is Paranakan, right? Not really. <laughs> so there are different uh, categories. There's diet and lifestyle, talents and sports performance. Discover your origins. So this is our, your ancestry. Um, I'm Chinese, so I guess this one might tell me that I'm 100% Chinese or otherwise. Explore your genetic blueprint. So this one has your physical traits, your personality, and it's all in your DNA. This one, this one, this one. I guess this one is what everybody is very interested in, which is ancestry. Ooh! I am 86% East Asian and 9% Japanese and Korean. Oh, I'm seven. Oh, I'm seventy-seven percent Chinese, and I am thirteen percent Southeast Asian, which is thirteen percent Vietnamese. Hey, you know, I I thought I was Peranakan. I always tell people I'm Peranakan. I guess this is Peranakan, right? Not really. Beep beep beep. Talents and sports performance. So I always thought that I'm really terrible at sports. Um, I always try my best. I even enrolled myself in like swimming, but I was just terrible. Beaches always last that I have my own lane. Oh, okay. So my ring is quite even. That means I can try, I'm a jack of all trades, master of none, basically. Low power, medium endurance, and high strength. So I can do everything, but not great. Success traits. Emotional quotient, excellent. So this means that based on your genetic results, you have a predisposition of an above average EQ. So maybe that's why I always overthink. So next time I overthink, right, you all can be like, I, I, next time people are like, oh yeah, don't overthink, I'm like, no, it's part of my DNA. Wham, um, bam, thank you, ma'am. Education attainment, high. Oh, wow. Mathematical skills. <laughs> Mathematical skills gifted. <laughs> okay, my grade. Uh, I think my grades were pretty okay, but I was more towards the art side, like creative side, not so much like math. I, li I, I failed accountancy. I did a subject on accountancy and I failed it. And this one says that I'm gifted in mathematical ability. Research shows that approximately 54 to 65% of an individual's mathematical ability is influenced by genetics. My brain structure has determined that I can do math. And somewhere along the lines, it's not going well. Beep, beep, beep. Moving on to diet and lifestyle, I am going to check out stress and sleep. So I sleep about 6 to 7 hours daily and I think it's enough for me. But this test has told me that I need to sleep about 7 to 9 hours genetically to give me the right amount of sleep for my DNA. Sleep quality insomnia. <laughs> Based on your genetic results, you are likely to be an insomniac. So this means you have struggled falling asleep and you have you sleep poorly due to interrupted sleep cycles. So this is why I have very bad sleep. Diet and lifestyle. Alcohol sensitivity, higher sensitivity. Based on your genetic results, you are likely to have higher sensitivity to alcohol. This means that you see an impact on your blood pressure if you take excess amounts of alcohol. It's advisable you limit your intake of alcohol. <laughs> caffeine sensitivity. I have higher sensitivity to caffeine. This suggests that I'm predisposed to have anxiety and sleep problems even with low dose of caffeine. Ensure that you limit your caffeine intake. Yeah, no wonder I don't sleep well. I eat, I have like two to three cups of coffee a day. Maybe I should change to just drinking water. Mm. Okay, so I'm reading out the ones that are highlighted in red because that is like, like above normal. So I have high salt sensitivity, high lactose intolerance, high spice sensitivity. Then what am I gonna eat? Yong Tao Fu. 
Huh. Can take fats and carbs. And um and vegetables. Okay, let's go to the exciting one. Early detection, cancer risk. No co cancer causing. Oh okay. I have no cancer risk causing mutation. In my genes. How about dementia and brain health? I have average risk for dementia and all the brain health disorders. Okay, this is um, relaxing to know. <laughs> Let's end with explore your genetic blueprint. So I'm going to the new function. This one is physical traits. They can even tell you whether like what color is your hair, your eye color, uh, whether your earwax is dry or wet. So I click earwax type, mine is lightly dry. And I have eye colour which is a lightly brown. My eye brown. And we have pain sensitivity which is normal. Um, smell sensitivity, lightly stronger. Woo, this is cool. Personality traits. I am lightly compassionate and helpful. Lightly organized and disciplined when I feel like it, I guess. Uh, lightly reserved and calm and confident and consistent. Beep, beep, beep. I think it's super comprehensive. It's a very fun, I would say like it's a once in a lifetime. Let's try once. At least this is a super fast free way to check out your DNA and to check out what makes you you, you know? But then again, we are all a uh, product of like how we are nurtured, right? So this is nature, but how we are nurtured is different and you are you based on your nature and your nurture. So yeah, I think this just helps you understand yourself a little bit better. But it's also good to know that um, yeah, like I, whenever I need to go and see a doctor, then they ask what drugs you are allergic to, then I'll be like this. <laughs> There's a code for you guys. If you guys want to try out this DNA test, it's in the description box. And I hope you guys have fun. Share with me your, the fun parts of your DNA test, if you like.